everyone. Thanks for joining us here at Kicks Cooking and More. I'm Marie Lockwood. Today's recipe is a homemade cornbread. This one actually has little chunks of corn in it. Usually I like jalapeno, but you know the kids can't eat that. And I do recommend you try it though. But let's see what we need. Okay, so for this recipe we have two eggs, milk, cornmeal, baking powder, not soda, butter, um, a little bit of salt, this is some flour, some Crisco or shortening, and this is some corn. Now I also have a little bit of Crisco here with a paper towel. Now the first thing you want to do is just get those eggs well beaten. You don't want to put them in without beating them first. Okay, once that's done. They don't have to be, you know, hugely done, just done. All right, next we're going to add our cornmeal, baking powder, salt, and flour. All right, so you're just going to whisk these together. All right, now we're going to add our milk. And you just wanna whisk that. All right, once you've got this pretty well mixed, we're going to add our corn. Now normally, I like it with a little bit of jalapeno diced up too, but I can't do that because of the kids. But if you like your food a little bit on the spicy side, I do suggest that you give that a try. It's actually quite a bit better. All right, now we're going to add our shortening. And our little bit of butter. Now you do want to make sure that your butter is softened. That makes this go a little bit easier. But even softened, your whisk isn't going to like them, so just be prepared for that. All right, then I'm going to also add my egg. All right, now that you have everything in, of course, like I said, just get it well blended. You kind of have to go slow once you add that egg in, because all that liquid. All right, once you have that done, just go ahead and tap off your whisk. Try to get as much of that off there as possible. Now we're going to switch to the spatula. And you're just going to want to scrape everything off the sides. And you're going to make sure that you don't have any big chunks of butter or shortening left. And if you do, just kind of smash them out with your your spatula there. They're kind of hard to see with your corn in there, but you'll be able to tell the difference. The size alone kind of gives it away. All right, now just scrape everything back down. All right, now most of you have had to do this before while cooking something, but if you haven't, this is what you have to do for greasing a pan. And you do need to grease this so that it doesn't stick. So you're just taking some shortening on a paper towel and kind of rubbing all into the grooves, all across the bottom and all up the sides. 
If you have to grease and flour a pan, you just add a little bit of flour on that and then shake it until the flour covers all of the grease. But this one you just need to grease. All right, once that is done, we're going to take our mixture and put it into our oven safe dish. Now this one is not a huge dish. Um, if you were to double the recipe, it would be a nine by 13, but I don't need that much. So, you know, you have to decide how much you need before you make it and all of that, but this small amount is what I need. in mind if you're making cornbread to make homemade stuffing or something like that for your turkey leave the corn out <laughs> it doesn't go so well with the turkey I have not actually tried it but I'm pretty sure that's not going to taste really great okay once we have this done we're going to pop this in the oven at 425 for about 30 minutes and what we're really looking for is that pretty yellow golden brown that cornbread has on top and then it's done so we'll be back in about 30 minutes. Okay, so that's it for our show today. I hope you enjoy the cornbread as much as my family does. You do wanna give it a few minutes to cool down before you cut and serve. It doesn't crumble as much if you give it a few minutes, but it still should be warm when you serve it, or of course you can reheat it. So I hope you enjoyed the show today. Thanks for joining us here at Cakes Cooking and More. I'm Marie Lockwood, have a great day.